Hello, my name is Melanie Walker and I can't wait to narrate your next Solid Gold audiobook. You may well remember me from all the shows I've presented on TV over the years, including Treasure Hunt, Good Morning South Africa, and more recently loads of gardening shows on the Home Channel. And I've been working as a voiceover artist, radio presenter, and now podcast host for the better part of the last 15 years or so. I'm a huge fan of the Beat Generation, thrillers, and sci-fi books, but today I'm reading a couple of samples from the inimitable Bill Bryson and a short history of nearly everything, and for a change of pace, some chiclet, courtesy of Nina George. No more, Lothar, whispered Marianne. She clapped her hands to her mouth. Might someone have overheard her? She unbuttoned her coat. Maybe it would keep someone else warm, even if she had mended the lining so often that it became a crazy multicoloured patchwork. Lothar always brought home little hotel shampoo bottles and sewing kits from his business trips to Bonn and Berlin. The sewing kits contained black, white and red thread. Who needs red thread? thought Marianne as she began to fold up the light brown coat edge to edge the way she used to fold Lothar's handkerchiefs and the towel she ironed. Not once in her adult life had she worn red. The colour of whores, her mother had hissed. She had slapped Marianne when she was eleven for coming home in a red scarf she had picked up somewhere. It had smelled of floral perfume. Earlier that evening up in Montmartre, Marianne had seen a woman crouching down over the gutter. Her skirt had ridden up her legs and she was wearing red shoes. When the woman stood up, Marianne saw that the makeup around her bloodshot eyes was badly smeared. Just a drunken whore, someone in the tour party had remarked. Lothar had restrained Marianne when she made to go over to the woman. Don't make a laughing stock of yourself, Annie. Welcome and congratulations. I'm delighted that you could make it. Getting here wasn't easy, I know. In fact, I suspect it was a little tougher than you realize. To begin with, for you to be here now, trillions of drifting atoms had somehow to assemble in an intricate and curiously obliging manner to create you. It's an arrangement so specialized in particular that it has never been tried before and will only exist this once. For the next many years, we hope, these tiny particles will uncomplainingly engage in all the billions of deft cooperative efforts necessary to keep you intact and let you experience the supremely agreeable but generally underappreciated state known as existence. Thank you for listening to my samples. I'm Melanie Walker and I look forward to turning your words into an audiobook so you can be heard. You've been listening to another production from Solid Gold Podcasts.